This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. In this edition, I explore a very new uh, travel trailer of the last 1995. I consider it an upscale uh, couples camper. That's because it cost about twice as much as your typical uh, travel trailer of this size. So here's a side view with the optional uh, graphics. Very nice graphics indeed. Here's the interior with a bed up front with a very large window and a ginormous, and I say ginormous, <laughs> slide out uh, dinette. The overall length of this unit is 23 feet 8 inches. Uh, the fresh gray and black tank, typical of Lance travel trailers, is 45 gallons. This specific unit has about $8,700 worth of various options. And uh, for example, the Tri-5, the three uh, propane bottles is an option. On each side you get a little slide out and that's where you can put your battery. Uh, any kind of battery you decide you want. You can put it right there. Very nice and convenient. And uh, those uh, trays are super, super duper sturdy. I really like them. Get a bit of storage here. It's apparently for a generator. Apparently. I'm not sure. I heard on another video that they used it for the generator and felt it was too small. But if you put a 1,000 or 2,000 watt generator, it should be no problem. There's your knife valve uh, for your fresh water. So when you're doing some winterizing, you just dump it without any uh, issues. Just say, hey, adios muchacho. Nice knowing your water. So you get some nice aluminum wheels and some Goodyear tires. You can't complain about that. And this storage goes way to the right and way to the left. So if you have some significant long storage, like a certain size table or some fishing equipment that uh, you know is gigantic, it can fit in there. Or, or a bunch of you know boxes. It's all up to you. Of course, it has a magnetic latches. So here's the business end of the travel trailer. That's where you can uh, connect your 30 amp uh, cord. Uh, your antenna, uh, fill it up with water, etc. And you got an outdoor shower right there. An outdoor shower for your pet, for your child, for yourself. It's all up to you. There's your gray and black dump and your uh, powered uh, stabilizers. And that's an option, of course. <laughs> what isn't an option in this unit? Uh, the price goes up pretty fast. So here's another view of those uh, various connections and the outdoor shower. In the bumper, of course, you can put the stinky slinky. And I like those graphics. Those are sharp looking uh, graphics. Of course, you have a uh, topper for the slide up. There's your little camera. That was an option also. I went up the ladder and checked up on top. There's air conditioner, your antennas, uh, where you can connect some solar panels and uh, some of the vents and their covers. So I made it down uh, the ladder without breaking my 69-year-old uh, neck. I like the uh, Lippert and uh, Moride steps uh, better than that cheap step right there. But they're pretty good, I guess. And I'll show you how that shade works in a bit. Yeah, there's a little shade that covers that window. So you get a little bit of privacy. So you can put the outside TV there. And there's a tail end, the rear end of one of the AC propane refrigerators, and there it is. They, they have one of those in this uh, unit. Of course, a water heater, too. There are those uh, Goodyear Endurance tires. I like those tires. I like those rims. I've seen fancier rims, but those are pretty nice rims. I can't complain. Again, this uh, travel trailer typically costs twice as much as a Rockwood or a Flagstaff Micro Light or Mini Light. It's a pricey little thing. There's a little tray, and uh, you can put quite a bit of storage in there. Very nice. It goes in and it goes out, and uh, you can put your items in there easily, readily, and it locks like this. Uh, a piece of cake. So for us senior citizens, we appreciate that. So let's head towards the uh, front of this uh, fabulous Alliance 1995 travel trailer. There's that large tinted acrylic window. It opens up and it has a little shade inside. 
Uh, by the way, the opinions expressed in this video are mine and mine alone. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact the manufacturer, myself, or your local dealership. Let's go inside and check out this uh, Lance product. It's fresh from the factory. Uh, it's only about a month old. This has the four season package, an option. <laughs> A lot of options. Uh, you may think the weight of the unit was uh, a certain weight, but after you add all the options, it's a little bit uh, chunkier, okay? There's your fire extinguisher in the uh, keys, where you can put your keys right there. So as you walk in, you know uh, where your key for your vehicles, your motorcycle, whatever you're bringing along is right there. I do like this Roadster interior. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I want it. I think it's sensational. This opens up and it also locks. It's a substantial drawer. It's also dovetail. Very nice wood. Excellent construction and solidly built and very nice all metal glides. You get one on each side. I'm going to go sit down and check out this unit in a bit, and here I am, I'm getting off the bed, I'm going, hey, let's check out the seating arrangement. Quite a bit of a step. I'm 5'10", 175 pounds typically, and uh, I can see, uh, I can see three people sitting in this. A couple smaller people maybe. Uh, the headroom here is about four inches, maybe five inches, I, I'm only taking a guess. So I'm sitting there, I can sit there comfortably, and you can sit one on each side comfortably. So far, I figure three people, or four very small people, or just two very large people. And that table is squeaky. I gotta oil it. I should have oiled it, but it was squeaky. And again, this little step here is significant. Boink, quite a bit of step. If you're uh, challenged with your knees and uh, legs, um, maybe this is not the unit for you. But if you're in relatively good shape, it should be no problem at all. I like the window valances, and I love that Roadster interior. I think it's A+. Plus. I really love it. Let's go check out the uh, storage in the back. Of course, these drawers are all soft clothes, solid wood door fronts, nice metal handles, metal uh, uh, glides also, and it's soft clothes. And behind door number one is the uh, water heater. I think that's a water heater. I'm pretty sure it's a water heater. You see the red and the blue connotating uh, hot and cold water. I'm pretty sure that's a water heater. If you think it's something different, tell me. Uh, note it in the uh, comment section. Say, Jesus Garza, that's the turbine engine. And here's the closet, uh, some storage up there. You have a little shelf and then you can hang stuff or just stack stuff. It's all up to you, but that's a good size closet and a very nice solid door. That door was super, super solid, not cheap. And this is definitely a closet. <laughs> so you can maybe uh, add a little uh, something for the other one, make it a closet also. You can have two closets. It's up to you. You can modify this unit, can't you? You're going to buy it. You're going to plop down the 50K and say, hey, it's mine. So here's that little window shade I was going to show you. And it goes into the door to the exit, and uh, it goes up and it goes down. And if you let it go, it goes pretty fast. It's uh, definitely pretty tightly wound here. There it goes. There it goes. Nice and quick. You got the thermofoil uh, countertops, a marble sort of finish, and that's where you put your keys. And again, like I talked earlier, that's your uh, fire extinguisher. So in case there's a fire, you're set. This has the uh, American stone cast sink. It's supposedly good uh, up to 500 degrees, so it shouldn't melt. Looks pretty nice. I like the gray color. The white stone cast, no way, Jose, but the gray, I like it. Let me detangle this mess. Somebody left it a mess. I do not approve. That's perfect area for your spices and uh, odds and ends. You can put it up there. Nice window balances, and of course these windows open up uh, awning style. Up here you have your radio, your AM, FM, DVD radio. And it has speakers that go outside and inside and some of your controls for your slides and your awning, etc., etc. This is a soft close. You open it up and, you, and it closes very softly. And those are the hinges that allow that 
uh, to effectualize. Some nice hinges, and you've got an electrical uh, connection way back there in the top left. Here's one of two apparent skylights in this unit. It brings in uh, quite a bit of light. Makes everything nice and bright and airy. I did not have the lights on because it wasn't connected to shore power, so I was just using available light. And like I said, soft close. There's that microwave, nice uh, chrome finish, not a black finish, not a purple finish, not an orange finish, but a nice stainless steel finish. I like this microwave. And it's a decent size. I don't know if it's a 0.9, a 1.2 cubic foot. I do not know. That's a question for your uh, Lance dealership or the folks at Western Campers in Fort Worth, Texas. They're very nice folks down there. Very professional. There's your galley light controls and up there, so you can check your tank levels, etc. Etc. So, what do you think of that backsplash? Pretty nice backsplash. Here's a three burner uh, stove top with bifold uh, cover so it ex extends the working area or uh, prep area. Has a nice oven underneath, uh, good size oven, definitely good enough for a good size turkey. For some cakes, some pies, some lasagna. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Wow. Again, a very nice stovetop and oven. Let me open up this uh, refrigerator. You can tell it's an AC propane refrigerator when you see those fins back there. Uh, it takes up a bit of room when you get these uh, propane AC refrigerators in the back. When you get those DC refrigerators, which I prefer, by the way, uh, you can use that space and it adds to the cubic footage, the footage for your food to be stored in the refrigerator. So what do you think of the flooring? It's pretty nice, huh? This unit uh, has in-cabinet as compared to in-floor uh, ducted heating. So you get less stink so all the stuff that uh, you track in from outside doesn't get uh, stuck in those grates in the floor and then all of a sudden toasty toasty stinky smells come through okay you don't want that again nice window valances these uh windows uh you know are awning style so they open up quite a bit i'm going to show you the day and night shades that's the day shade the dimming shade and this is the blackout night shade definitely uh, an upscale uh, couples camper feature you don't get that in uh, any other uh, small little camper, pretty much. Let me open up back here. I have to get my camera there so it's adjusts the light. And they're finally adjusted. And you can see this is a nice little shirt closet, side closet, whatever you want to call it. It has a little hanger there. Let me close that. And you get a nice, uh, a very nice little shelf with DC and uh, USB and alternating current uh, made readily available so you can charge stuff. Full extension drawers, nicely boxed, solid wood door fronts, metal glides, very nice. Same on the other side, you pretty much get the same uh, treatment, except you get an uh, extra few things, a few odds and ends, some controls right there, and the controls for the lights overhead, you get those controls right there. Comes with two little pillows and a gray little uh, bed cover. Let me go over here. Some people complain that when they go to sleep, the pillows hit the uh, the window there, and it's when you have the blinds on there, uh, there's a chance they can get uh, destroyed, and you do not want to destroy your <laughs> expensive front window uh, window uh, blinds. Yeah, it's when you're sleeping, you sleep. Oh man, I can't sleep. There's no headrest. I have to move my head a few inches away from there and pray that I don't bang into one of them during the night and have to pay the exorbitant fee they're going to charge me to replace it. Is your uh, large fan up there? Blows a lot of air, keeps you cool at night. And now I'm backing up. This is a queen bed and of course uh, underneath uh, this has storage. But this one is not cheaply built. This has a lot of storage and those pistons are powerful. I've been in other travel trailers, the, they barely hold up the bed. 
they barely hold up anything. <laughs> These are powerful and you get uh, aluminum framing and very nice wood quality uh, again. This is an upscale couples camper. This is a no budget couples camper. This is for a couple that has a little bit of money to uh, spend and want something that's very nice. That's where you would put a TV. They don't have it right there. And of course, that's the controls for the antenna. And, and uh, that's a very nice place for the TV. Perfect spot to watch TV late at night. Let me head to the back, to the left here. And look underneath the uh, kitchen sink. There's some receptacles right there. Some ground fault circuit interrupting the receptacles. Those are always appreciated. You have a little bit of storage on the top right. Down there on the bottom, there's a lot of hoses. Not much going on. And these trays can be washed and taken out. So you can put some stuff there and drag it to the picnic table. Piece of cake. Very nice. Again, they can be washed. And you got three of them. Have more of uh, duct work down there and a little bit of areas that you can put some odds and ends. Maybe put a box of post toasties. There's a receptacle. Hey, there's a receptacle. Any receptacles are appreciated. And a nice mirror. You can check yourself every morning and you say, I look fabulous and I'm ready to go hiking. And I have the perfect, absolutely perfect outfit. <laughs> Some people are that way. They need to be fashionista even when they're going out on a hike. There's a porcelain foot flush toilet. I sat down on that toilet. Yes, I did. And I had plenty of room. There's a neo angle shower. And uh, fit me too. It was no problem. There's some storage down there. But up there, there's not much storage. There's a bunch of PEX piping. And that's where you put your roll of toilet paper also on the top. They have a little place there for your toilet paper. And on the right, you have your controls for your lights and a little area to put your towel, a little ring, and some receptacles, a water faucet. And again, an American stone cast sink. I like those sinks. They're pretty good. And there's the medicine cabinet. There's my ugly mug. And uh, there's a light. Plenty of storage in this medicine cabinet. Do you have a lot of stuff in your medicine cabinet? I don't have that much stuff. I just uh, wash my face and go out in the world and say, hey, that's how it is. Uh, take me as I am. So here we are in the shower. Again, a good size shower. I figure a person six foot two should readily fit inside here. But what do you think? You can always test it out when you go inside uh, your own uh, travel trailer. There's a puny little fan. You can replace that with a Max Air or a fantastic fan. A place to put your robe and a towel area. Very nice. Let me back up and get out of the restroom as quietly and as nimbly as I can. Let me close that door. One of my subscribers recommended I start uh, promoting my Patreon page. So here's my uh, little uh, link here, patreon.com slash JMM Garza. You can pause the video to look at some of these specs uh, that I saw outside the vehicle. It's always a good idea if you want to learn more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I thank you very much and please leave your kind and super friendly comments below the description. Thank you again. This has been a walkthrough, a modest little uh, review of a Lance 1995, an upscale couples camper. But what do you think? This has been RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I live in Fort Worth, Texas, and I was at uh, Western Campers in Fort Worth, Texas. They are super nice folks down there. From Fort Worth, Texas, again, gracias, adios, bye-bye.